Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Time Out for the Alphabet with Miss T, and that is me. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing well, and I hope you are ready to go over a new letter. Do you know what that letter is? If you said the letter P, you are right. It's the letter P. And of course, we have an uppercase P and a lowercase P. And P is a consonant because it has a sound. And P says P. Can you say P? P. You're putting your two lips together and P. You would like you would pucker up. Very good. Good job. And this is P in sign language. And this is on the side. This is P in sign language. Very good. Good job. So I am so ready to go over the letter P. The letter P. So let's get started practicing. P practicing writing our P, our uppercase P and our lowercase P. So here is our handy dandy whiteboard and I drew the lines on there so we can practice properly. So here we go. I'm going to turn around so we can practice. Here we go. So remember with our uppercase, we're going to start at the top and we're going to come down and I like to say sky to grass. Are you ready? Here we go. Sky to grass, stop. Curve around. Let's try that again. Sky to grass, stop. Curve around. And when you curve around, you are touching the fence or the middle line. Now let's practice our lowercase p. You're going to start at the middle line, or what I like to call the fence. Fence to past the grass, under the ground, loop around, land on the grass. Let's do that one more time. Let's put another line here. Fence to but below the grass, loop around, and land on the grass. Very good. Good job practicing your uppercase and lowercase p. And again, p says p. P says p. So Miss T is going to show you some pictures. P pictures for the letter p. And you are going to tell me what these pictures are. Here we go. Can you tell me what this picture is? If you said parrot, you are right. And what do parrots do? Yes, they talk. They can copy you. Now here's another one. What is this a picture of? If you said pickle, you are right. Do you like to eat pickles? I really like sweet pickles, but some people like the dill pickles. Here we go. What is this a picture of? Yes, it is a pig. And what sound does a pig make? Good job. It sounds kind of silly, doesn't it? Very good. And here's our last picture. What is this a picture of? You are right. It is yummy popcorn. And I have my yummy popcorn right here. And what do you like to do when you eat your popcorn? I know I have something I like to do when I eat popcorn. Yes, well, I like to watch movies while I'm eating my popcorn. It's just a super yummy snack, right? Right, so here we go. I'm going to show you something and I want to see if you know what it is. I know your mommies and daddies will know what it is. It, this is called a safety pin. A safety pin for the letter P. 
key and you just move it you have to move it you close it this way and then you open it and then you use it to pin things up or hold things together sometimes you might need to pin your clothes if they're they're falling down or is there's a hole you use a safety pin safety pin for the letter p very good good job and i want to show you something that i made for the letter p so this is a paper air plane and i made it just for you and i don't know if it's going to fly so you and I together, we're going to find out if this flies. Are you ready? I'm going to throw it your way. Here we go. Ah, I think it did. Did it fly? You are right. It did fly. It didn't go very far because it landed on the table. I want to know, what do you use to write on paper? You can use a couple of things, but what starts with the letter P? If you said pencil you are right a pencil good job so i have something i want to show you a craft that i would like to show you that i made so this is what i did i cut out a letter p and i put some lines on it because we're gonna make a letter p puzzle and what you're gonna do is you cut out a P, you have to cut out the middle and make an outline. You draw it on your paper. And then you make your lines for your puzzle, however you want to make it. Then we're going to marble paint. So what we do is we get marbles and I think we're gonna use purple and pink because why? We are doing the letter P, -p, 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 P. So let's go ahead and put some marbles and some pink paint. And Miss T made this paint. I mixed red and white together. So that's our pink. And this is our purple. So we put marbles in there. We mix them up. We get a box with some sides so the marbles do not fly out of the sides, off the sides. And then we tape our P to the board. Then we just throw them on top and this is super fun. So you have to ask your mommies and daddies to help you to be able to do this. And then you see how I put the marbles on and then you just move the marbles all around the board. It's super fun. Oh, and I lost one. Here we go, see that? You just move the box around and then you have your own beautiful creation. Look at that P, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All of those colors. And then when it dries, you cut out the pieces. So I did a P already. And these are the pieces I cut out. But this color, these colors are green and yellow. And I cut out the pieces and then I would have to put the pieces back together. So that's your own puzzle. That's your letter puzzle for the letter and it's something super fun and really easy to do. So I hope you had fun today and I hope you pick me again for your next letter. And I also hope you decide to go and eat some pretzels and popcorn the next time you watch a fun movie. And I'm gonna leave you with a little riddle that many of us know is, goes by Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Now, I want to know if you can give it a try. Let me know later. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I'll see you again for our next letter or number or whatever else. Thank you for joining me at Time Out for the Alphabet. I'm Miss T, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.